Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my home. Well, welcome to the backyard of my home. And to my channel and my blog, Coffee, Tea, Wine, and Life. Today, it's about coffee. More specifically, iced coffee. It's about 80 degrees outside. Oh my gosh, this feels so nice. It's like thawing out, being warm, being comfortable. Rebirth. It's just something just fell on my computer. So anyway, yeah, so cheers everybody. I've got an iced coffee here. Got a little bit of protein, uh, my Isogenics protein uh, shake mix I put in here as well. So I got a little protein in my iced coffee. Cheers everybody. Mm. So good. So anyway, um, I actually started to do this vlog a few minutes ago in the front yard and it was just so sunny I couldn't even see if I was recording or not. So I decided to come in the backyard instead. And um, in the backyard, you can see we're starting to get some buds on the trees. Yay! So it's starting to get a little bit green. The grass is nice and green. And it's so nice to not look outside and see white snow all over the place and just dead grass. So it's just so nice that everything just always seems to come back. Um, not in life, but in, you know, nature. And um, yeah, so got some nice buds on the trees coming in. I'm sure every day it's going to get a little bit greener out here, a little bit more full. Uh, we've got kids outside playing on one side on the trampoline. I've got the boys on the other side of me playing basketball. On they've got a, they actually put in a basketball court in the backyard, even though there's two down in the park behind my house. Anyway, the lawnmower is coming by from my neighbor, so I'm just going to shut this off. We'll be right back. Oh. Anyway, we've got a little gust of wind there as well. As you can see, I've got uh, woods behind myself, behind my house, and I've got some wetlands, which is, it's just really cool. There's like, uh, you know, other than there's like ducks and things back there. And uh, yeah, so two of the ducks from out back, I will be back. And you know what, I'm just gonna try to go for it. So hopefully I'm talking loud enough for you to hear. But anyway, so we've got this pair of ducks that have taken refuge in my front yard instead of the wetlands in the back and so they float along in my fountain in front and they hang out on the the little uh, retaining wall around the fountain and you know people walking by with their dogs or the kids taking for walks they all come up into my yard take pictures of the ducks everything's fine I don't mind them doing that I go out to get my mailbox my yard my mailbox and the ducks chase me they're quacking, they're flapping their arms, they're chasing me. I'm running around the yard screaming. Everyone walking by is laughing. And why do ducks and birds hate me? I don't know. I wasn't going to bother them. I'll try to insert a picture somewhere of the, uh, the ducks. I mean, they, they look really cute, but they're killer ducks. Yeah. So, anyway, but just so nice being outside again and I felt really good last weekend. I did a lot of unboxings last week and um, got quite a chunk done so I was really happy about that. I spread them out so that um, they posted every morning uh, last week and then after I did it, I, I felt really bad. I felt like here I am saying that I'm stressed and feeling bad about not commenting on people's videos and you know some people I follow to post every day and I try to keep up with that and then there's some people that I watch that post five six seven eight videos a day and that just kind of puts a lot of stress I mean I comment here and there but I just feel like I'm not a, a good subscriber to them because I can't watch every video I mean if I watch all the videos that's other people that always the one picking up out here I might have to bungee my uh, umbrella in. But, oh my gosh, that breeze feels nice. So then I just felt like, was I causing that kind of stress to other people for putting a video out every day? So hopefully, um, once I get caught up with everything and work slows down, I can just kind of go back to a pace of two or three videos a week. And that I think I would be more comfortable with doing one every day, even though um, it wasn't like I was filming them every day. It just I just felt like I was putting stress on people that subscribe to me, so um, I didn't mean to do that, so I apologize if I did, and if you were able to watch, thank you guys so much. Um, you guys are amazing, and you mean the world to me, and um, yeah, and if you didn't get a chance to watch, I totally, totally understand. There's no way we can work and take care of families and do our own YouTube channel and comment on everybody, so I totally understand, and I hope I did not put stress on you. 
So that said, I have still got some unboxings to go. So I thought I did really good last week, but I still have um, two glossy boxes to do, and I've got the two Look Fantastics to do. I got two Ellie outfits in this week, and one is going to be my April um, outfit of the month. And then I got an email, so it was like a one or two day special that you could go on a limited um, picks that they had in the must-have selections, which is the items that um, they don't have the full sets anymore, so it's just bits and pieces. And you could pick any three, top, bottom, and a t top, bottom, and a sports bra. And it was the same as if you were getting the outfit of the month for $44.95. So I thought that was really cool because there's a jacket in the must-haves that I've been waiting for to see if it went on sale. And it was a $60 jacket. And it was still full price in the must-haves, but it was included in that sale. So I'm really happy. It had some like piping with like the animal print. They still have some of the matching pants in the must-haves, but they are not on sale. And they weren't in that sale, but I will be watching for them. And then um, after that, um, I got another email from them offering me 25% off an additional um, outfit of the month. So, you know, I had to grab that too because that was how I got started um, using Kristen Moments of Sanctuary's link to get that 25% off that first item. And yeah, so to get these coupons here and there and the special deals, it's really nice. Oh my gosh, that wind is really picking up. As, as much as it feels nice, it's uh, shaking my uh, laptop and my camera. So. But, uh, yeah, so that was really cool. Um, I did work from home. Um, my car was fixed, yay! But I've been waiting for my check to come in um, so that I could uh, pay for it. And that actually came in today, so I'm going to have to try to get that deposited so that I can pick up my car next week. But I have enjoyed working from home these past two weeks. Yeah, so I wore Ellie leggings every day mixed with different tank tops and sweaters on the cooler days. And it just was really nice to be comfortable. And gee, and I saved a couple of bucks on gas. I'm, I'm spending almost four thousand to fix my car, but man, I saved about ten dollars in gas, and man, that makes me happy. Uh, my lawnmower is out for repair, so I'm excited about that to be able to get my grass mowed before people start complaining. And um, yeah, so I think that's about it. I talked about the killer ducks. Oh, you know, I sat down last night. I worked last night. Uh, till about uh, midnight again, and I grabbed a cup of coffee. I wanted one, but I thought I would have a coffee because I wanted to stay up for a few hours, and I wanted to watch some videos on YouTube and start commenting, and I had every intention of doing that, but you know when you log on sometimes there's things off to the side and you think you should watch, and one was the ghost of Route 20. Well, that just called my name. I had to watch it. and. It was haunting. Um, um, it was a two-hour video, over, just over two hours, and it was a couple of, uh, it might have been a mini-series at one time or something, so they had all the episodes together. And um, the theme was sung, uh, written and sung, I believe, by Lucinda Win Williams. And so whenever in between the, uh, the series, the uh, storylines, um, she would sing that song, and oh my gosh, the voice was low and deep. And, Oh my gosh, it was just so haunting. It just kind of, yeah, it was, and it was touching. And um, so it, it, you know, it was close to Route 20, so you know, there was some killings involved and murders and a serial killer. And um, it starts off with the uh, woman that got away. And it was probably at the very start of his uh, spree or killing, and maybe he just didn't quite know what to do or whatever, and she got away. And nobody believed her. You know, she went, um, she had the rape kit, um, the rape kit, you know, proved without, without a doubt that, um, you know, she had been raped, her clothes had been cut off with scissors, and, um, yeah, and they, no one believed her, you know, the, and, um, you know, and she says at the end, um, she came on at the end of it after they went through some of the, the victims that, um, had been found, and many more that probably have not been found. He did pass away in prison, so he took those secrets with him. But um, it, it was just mesmerizing. It kept you at the end of the seat because you were just like, how can this guy not get caught? How can he keep, they keep bringing him in for questioning. They're pretty sure it's him. They're like 99% sure, but they have no proof to tie him to it. And of course, they didn't have DNA back then. So probably that crime kit that um, they used, I don't even know, 20, 30 years ago, if, if they saved the DNA or whatever. But, um, she came on again at the end, the victim that survived. And um, 
they had like the brothers of some of the uh, the victims, the girls that had been murdered. And one of the brothers, he goes out to where they found his sister, and he says he lays down. You know, of course he's probably in his forties or fifties now, but uh, he says he goes out. He just lays where they found found his sister and talks to her and cries. And you know, the other brother from the other one, you know, he was you know just a kid too when this happened to her and. It's something you don't get over, and, you know, one brother, you know, has had the body, so they were able to have that closure, but the other one didn't, and to know it was the stepfather that raped her and murdered her is very hard to deal with, but um, it, was a, it was a good series, it kind of, kind of, just lets you know, I mean, here was just an average looking guy, um, nice looking guy. You would just never think he would have that violent streak in him and to fool as many people as he did over the years. Coming into work, because um, he was a highway worker, and he would just come in with blood all over him. And he said, oh yeah, well, I just got a deer on the highway or something, and they just thought, well, it's kind of weird, but whatever. But no one questioned him, and then to realize after all this that it was he was mutilating their bodies and coming in and washing off the blood in work and yeah to, you know and you know they got him at the end on circumstantial evidence because they didn't have the bodies or the bodies that they found had been um, picked clean so um, yeah so it was just a series that uh, just kind of wakes you up to realize there is a lot of evil out in the world it's really hard to know who to trust especially when it's your step parents or whatever but I'm going to leave on a high note. Yeah, think of the ducks chasing me in my front yard and me screaming. If that even put a smile on your face, I don't know what does. I hope everyone goes out, has a great day. We'll chat again later. Bye-bye, everyone. Alrighty, so it is a gorgeous day out here today. Tree is just about in full bloom, but usually as soon as it comes in full bloom, we lose everything overnight with either a heavy rainstorm or some heavy winds. Just a little breeze right now, but just wanted to get that tree in there before all the white flowers are on the ground. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody! Thank you so much for joining me because they say it's not healthy to drink alone. So, man, am I, I am glad that you are here to share this moment with me. Cheers, everybody! Mmm, mm, so good. We actually had some margaritas at work today. I ordered some nachos with chipotle chicken and then another one with some taco meat, which is really, really good. Nice way to spend Cinco de Mayo. Of course, you know I had to dress up because, yeah, Nancy likes to dress up and have fun on the holidays. I think I might need to, uh, maybe I should tone it down a little. I don't know. Imagine nobody else dressed up. I don't believe it. It was just really weird. But it's always fun. And I love sharing these little outfits with you, too. I hope that everybody went out and had a fantastic day. And we've only got a couple of days left. This is hump day. Woohoo! So, yeah, just a couple of days left to the week. And we will chat again on Friday night, everybody. Take care. See you then. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. Happy Friday. We made it through another week. This is Mother's Day weekend. So I hope everyone goes out and has a fantastic time. Oh, and yeah, it was a fun week. We had Cinco de Mayo right in the middle of the week. So Wednesdays, margaritas, some Mexican food. Yeah, it was a great week. Got to dress up and had, had fun. So yeah, life needs to be about fun. I mean, going to work every day, it's kind of like dull and routine. So if you can put a little bit of fun in there somehow, you got to do it. You just got to do it. So I finally got my COVID-19 vaccination. Yes. Yeah today so I was so excited to finally get that I put my name on a waiting list um, about six months ago and I put down that um, because I uh, my business was still open we didn't do a shutdown we were considered an essential business so I put that down and that um, yeah that I would take a cancellation um, whatever and so every now and then they would send me an email and I they wanted me to go to Virginia because they had an opening and I'm like are you crazy? I'm going to drive or fly from Minnesota to Virginia to get a shot. Are you going to pay for my trip? I don't think so. Then they tried to send me to Kansas. Then I said, no, I'm not going that far for a shot. 
So then they sent me to Wisconsin and I'm like, no, I think it was Eau Claire. I said, no, I'm not going to Eau Claire. I'm from Minnesota. I want a local place. So I think they kicked me off the list because I was being um, unreasonable. So then they, they've been like everywhere. And I've been like logging on a couple of times a day trying to get an appointment, you know, at some place local, like within five to 10 miles. Yeah, because they had like ones like at the uh, state fairgrounds in Minneapolis and um, up in Duluth, they had a big one. But, you know, you had to make an appointment, but it's like, I, I don't want to drive three hours to Duluth and then wait a half hour and get my shot and then wait another half hour and then three hours home. It's like if I was going up with someone and we could make a day out of it, like, you know, take a day out of work, maybe go out for lunch, uh, go out for dinner, walk on the canal, that would be fun. But to spend all day by myself, sitting in my car, waiting for my turn, no thank you. So I finally got one, my local Coburn's farm, uh, it's a grocery store type pharmacy. So got in there about 12.30 today. Yeah, I got the one and done shot, the Janssen one, so I don't have to go back. So that's pretty good. You know, I could feel it going in kind of more, a little bit more than a flu shot. I mean, that, that one just doesn't seem to phase me, but it, it felt hot going in. And now it just kind of feels like somebody punched me in the arm, but not bad. But yeah, so far so good. I got that about 1230. It's about midnight now. And yes, I'm doing good. Um, when I was getting ready to leave, there were like a couple of us who had us all kind of wait together. And then she did us all bang, 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 bang. And um, so then she saw giving us the instructions at once and uh, move your arm and stay hydrated. So I said, yeah, as soon as I finish here, I'm going next door to the liquor store and I'm going to get tequila and some Captain Morgans. And so she looked at me real sternly and she said, stay hydrated with water. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to use lots of ice. I know how to stay hydrated. And everybody was laughing. She was not laughing at me. Yeah, she did not see the humor in that at all. So, oh, well, uh, to each his own. But yeah, so anyway, I did have lots of water when I went back. I was good. So I had lots of water when I went back to work and just, um, you know, with my arm, of course, you're sitting there typing all day and every now and then I just kind of go like this and, you know, doing things to move around. So yeah, it, feel, it feels really good. Um, the only thing, I just feel tired, but again, it's after midnight. So yeah, and I probably had a couple cups of coffee, well, you know, and had a lot of water and okay, so I had another margarita. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but I had lots of ice. I think that counts. So anyway, I've got on my new Ellie outfit. So this is uh, the one that's called Midnight Sun. And this is the one, like I got that one that they gave me the thing that I could get um, the mix and match items of my own from the must-haves for the same price as an outfit of the month. Then I got my outfit of the month for April. And then after all that, they sent me a coupon for 25% off any uh, current current, um, current uh, outfit. Yeah, but I'm tired. So anyway, I got this one. And I love it. I actually wore this to work today. I'm drawn to these ones with the jackets because even though summer's coming, I just think these are really a great layering piece. And when you're going out walking, you know, I'm not comfortable to go walking around in my sports bra, but I don't mind having a little bit of it showing up here as long as everything is good, right? And this one is actually a tank top. It's almost like a racer back top, but not quite as whatever. I just have a halter bra, regular halter bra under it. It's a tank, so it doesn't have a shelf bra or any sports bra or anything like that. It's just a tank, a crop tank. Be nice if it was a little longer, but I can live with it. And it's beautiful navy color. And then this white jacket with the thumb holes. Just a lot of fun. I wore it to work today. So of course I dressed it up with my earrings and my necklace. Yeah, I felt pretty good today. And then of course, when you get your shot, it was just easy enough to put this down, show your arm, get your shot, put your bandaid on and yeah, I'm out of there. Well, half hour after. But yeah, so it was a good week. And yeah. And and look, I have got no boxes behind me. I'm caught up. You know, I really feel bad that I kind of bombarded everybody the last two weeks, but I feel good that I got those boxes out of the way and I'm starting to organize them and get them put away. But already I know that my Glam Bag X is shipping. My book of the month, I think, is going to be out in my mailbox. If not today, then maybe tomorrow. I've got a Stitch Fix that's maybe going to be here on the 10th. So they're all going to start coming again, but I'm starting with this clean stitch slate. So I'm excited about that. So anyway, I want to thank you all for joining me. You guys are amazing. Um, you guys mean so much to me. So thank you everyone from the bottom of my heart. I hope you all go out and have a fantastic Mother's Day weekend. And we will chat again soon, everybody. Have a great week.